As we wrap up today's show, it's important that we touch base on one of the most important subjects for the month of March. And the subject is Women's History Month. Women's History Month is a month to spotlight and celebrate the contributions of women to history, culture, and society. Before Rosa, Miss Rosa Parks, decided to give up her seat on the bus, before the Freedom Riders rolled into the Deep South, there was Debbie Johnson Roundtree. She was one of the first Black women to break racial barriers in the U.S. Army. She was a fierce attorney in the segregated courtroom of Washington, D.C., and she was a minister. There are a few other amazing accomplishments that you need to see, that you need to read about, and you can pick it up in this book. It is called Mighty Justice, the untold story of civil rights trailblazer, Dovey Johnson Roundtree. Thank you. Hello, my name is Taryn Gilliam, Branch Group Administrator for the Fulton County Public Library System. For Women's History Month, I would like to highlight Miss Mary Lou Williams. Mary Lou Williams was a pianist, arranger, composer, and probably the most influential woman in the history of jazz. She was not only the first lady of jazz, she has a place at the very top echelon of the jazz community. Miss Williams wrote over 350 compositions throughout her rich and highly eclectic musical career. She also helped spawn an entire generation of young musicians during the 1940s that was precipitated by the birth of one of the world's most influential musical styles known as bebop. Her students included musicians as influential and varied as Miles Davis, Dizzy Gillespie, Thelonious Monk, Charlie Parker, and countless others. Unlike most of the other famous women in jazz who have been singers, at like Ella Fitzgerald and Billie Holiday, Williams was instead a phenomenal pianist who performed solo with small groups and in big bands. She is actually well known today as a composer and arranger of remarkable versatility and power. In 1964, Mary founded Mary Records to release her own self-produced album. She stated, no one would record me, so I decided to record myself. Mary Lou Williams returned to the jazz world fully in 1970 and remained there for the rest of her life. She appeared in concert and at workshops in colleges, at jazz festivals, in clubs, on recordings, on radio and television. In her last four years, she maintained a full professional schedule of appearances while functioning as artist in residence at Duke University in Durham, North Carolina. To this day, she remains one of the most historically significant and influential women in jazz. In the final year of her life, before she passed away in 1981, at 71 years of age, she formed the Mary Lou Williams Foundation. You can find a copy of her wonderful biography titled Morning Glory by Linda Dahl. It is available within the Fulton County Public Library System, which can be located at www.fullcolibrary.org. Thanks. Hi everyone, welcome to this video where I review a book for Women's History Month. Um, the book I am reviewing is called Primates, The Fearless Science of Jane Goodall, Diane Fossey, and Brute Galdakis. Uh, my name is Leanne Wagner. I'm a librarian here at the Milton Library, part of Fulton County Library System. Um, so this graphic novel is great. <laughs> it is uh, a young adult book. It is very short. It's nonfiction. And the medium of comics does a really great job of letting you jump in to the work of these women and then easily jump out and then to see what the next scientist is up to. So, um, as we get from the title, this book, one of the uh, subjects is Jane Goodall. And everyone needs a favorite scientist. Mine just happens to be Jane Goodall. <laughs> Um, there she is. She did a lot of work with chimps, and if you read this book, you'll get to see um, chunks of that work. Um, really the beginning of her story. It's a really great kind of humble origin story, um, and she really went for it. Um, you know, she took a risk, and she did it, and now she's like one of the most famous um, 
scientists out there. She's talking to people all over the world about conservation. Um, if you want to know a little bit more about Jane Goodall and her introduction to chimpanzees, <laughs> um, check out this book. I think you will really enjoy it. And um, thanks again for celebrating Women's History Month with the Fulton County Library System. Definitely go to fulcolibrary.org. You can place your hold on this book, um, Primates, again, The Fearless Science of Jane Goodall, Diane Fossey, and Barute Galdakis. Thank you for joining us at Fulco Library Presents the Library Access. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at Fulco Library. And visit us at fulcolibrary.org. I'm your host, Rachel Sanders, and I'll see you next time.